Alright, welcome. This is David Brooke from APT Comics. Uh, we've got a review of the Spider-Man Homecoming Spider-Man action figure. Uh, right now, uh, you can pre-order this from a few sites, but it's hard to find in the wild. Uh, we were lucky enough to grab an early copy, and it's a pretty cool figure just from the packaging, but how does it look when we open it? Obviously, there's seven figures in this series. Uh, this is one of them, and the Build-A-Figure, or Build-A-Wing, I like to say, is uh, Vulture's Wings. The packaging is conventional to the Marvel Legends of uh, recent times. We've got a little description of this character on the back, some nice photography of the character, and obviously all the figures that are in this series. Looks like we have a Spider-Man Homecoming picture on the side that is of the conventional suit, not of this suit. I wouldn't be surprised if the conventional suit action figure has the exact same paint job. It's also worth a note that the logo at the top is different for every figure. This one has an interesting logo design. It's not the same on his chest. It's definitely a Spider-Man logo that we haven't seen before. It's kind of like a techno feel. All right, let's open this. All right, the backdrop is Spider-Man's face, which is kind of cool, and blue. And the figure comes up. We've got a piece of the wing of the vulture wings. Good detail here. Got some uh, like military green. Kind of pops up. Definitely nicely designed. But again, not a build a figure, build a wing. Alright, Spider Man comes with two hands and an extra hood. Hands. All right. Obviously, we've got a flip hand here. Um, what's interesting to note is the pinky is kind of bent, funny. I don't know, kind of funny, different. Paint job's pretty good. You got the blue and a little bit of black on the around the fingers. Definitely gives you the feel that it's homemade costume. And then the extra fist. Bit of a paint issue with the black, but overall good. And then the hood. The extra hood, which goes on his head like so. And then there we have the figure itself. So he's got this hood that's down, which is kind of a nice touch. That way you can change it from fully hooded to hood down. The figure itself, smaller in size, which is which suits the actor in the new movie. He's younger after all. Um, what's interesting to note is he's got sort of a Ben Riley web shooter, uh, wrist shooter, which is... A nice nod to that. Uh, the blue is a like a darker, less lighter blue than conventional Spider-Man action figures. Um, the black again is got this like kind of leathery, handmade feel, and um, obviously he's like wearing a sweater. Really, the whole look might be a Ben Riley ode. And fans are going to note the eyes are very different. They kind of pop out almost like goggles. Like he cut um, holes in a sweater and put goggles underneath. Um, there's some nice detail in the mouth. You can see there's a bit of a pursing. And then you can get this, you get a seam here on the top of the head, which makes it feel like it's a real mask. Speaking of the detail in the clothing, you can see there's some pockets kind of drawn in here. And uh, there's like a zipper. And then even in the pants here, the end of what I assume is some uh, ties that go into the sweater. And then the feet have like a kind of a sneaker feel because of this bottom part. It is red on the bottom though. And then there's no peg hole in the back which is a little different for Spider-Man. Usually that uh, is there so you can pose him in a uh, stand. There are peg holes in the feet though. So let's talk about bendability. This is conventional to the legends. He's definitely got smaller arms, but two hinges in the uh, arm, two hinges in the leg. Uh, the ankle moves in both, and then the, actually I guess you'd call this the uh, lower leg moves, probably to allow him to pose better. And then the ankle moves all around. Head movement's pretty good. Does the has a hinge up, so it goes straight back and forward, all the way around. And um, the wrists move pretty good too. 
So overall, about what you'd expect from a Spider-Man figure. So let's uh, change that look. So he has a hood. So you just simply take this hood off, put this hood on, I guess. <laughs> or I suppose you have to kind of, there we go. And then push down. Pop that back on. There we go. Here's the hooded look. Hood stays on pretty tight. Doesn't really move. So, overall, pretty good figure. It's interesting to note the movie hasn't come out yet, so I don't know when or why he's wearing this costume. That said, it's a different look for Spider-Man in that it looks like it's a homemade costume. He's got the boots here. It's very much not a sleek costume. It's like some kid threw together a costume and made it work. Um, which is a cool look because it's unique. Um, the eyes are nice. There's a nice detail in the mouth. And overall, you know, he bends well. He's got the perfect size for Spider-Man. And I think this is a good collection, especially if you collect Spider-Man because it's so different. So don't forget to subscribe and watch our other Mar Marvel Legends Spider-Man 2 series uh, action figure reviews. And uh, we'll have even more reviews coming in the coming months. Thanks.